The Policy Pond Log Flume at Canopy Lake Park is a classic log flume. Not only is it one of my favorite traditional log flumes out there, but it's actually my favorite attraction at Canopy. So in this video, I will be reviewing the Policy Pond Log Flume and explaining why this ride has a special place in my heart. This flume was built by Hopkins in 1983, and I love how Canopy paid homage to the past with this attraction. First, the ride is named after the former name of Canopy Lake. Canopy Lake Park borders Canopy Lake. But until 1885, this body of water was actually known as Policy Pond. So it's really neat the park was able to incorporate the lake's former name into an attraction. Second, the ride is located in a wooded grove and the station was created from the trees removed to install the ride. The station is themed as a 19th century sawmill and even includes a working water wheel. The video footage you're seeing was filmed in 2020 and does not include the water wheel. A few years ago, Canopy removed several trees along the ride's course, which made the ride feel more open. It was sad to see. And as you can see, the tree stumps are still adjacent to the trough. Fortunately, Canopy has planted several new trees in recent years, and once they grow back, the ride will have the same woodsy feel. The ride is located in the old Canopy Village section of the park. Themed to a working town, the sawmill themed log flume fits in perfectly with the area. The ride's location among the trees and area's atmospheric music really give this ride a relaxing feel. One of the biggest Achilles heels with Canopy is that most of their signature attractions have poor capacities. Fortunately, the Policy Pond log flume is one of the exceptions. The ride has a continuously moving conveyor belt load platform and usually runs about a dozen logs. This keeps the line moving. A full queue is usually only a half hour at worst. When the line is backed up, Canopy will pair parties together to keep the line moving. But when the line is shorter, they will allow individual parties to have their own log. Because of the flume's proximity to the main entrance, this ride's wait is often longest towards the start of the day. If you return towards the evening, you can often walk right onto the flume. Just be careful though, because occasionally they will close the rides in the old Canopy Village early if the area is dead. Once you depart the station, you slowly turn to the left, travel up the first lift, and travel down the first drop. This drop is quite small. It's roughly 10 feet or 3 meters tall, but it is steeper than you'd expect given the height, so it has some zip to it and the resulting splash is the wettest part of the ride. You won't come off this ride soaked, but the splash is the perfect amount of water to refresh you. You then float around a 180 degree turn and pick up the pace. You then approach a teepee tunnel, and I love how this tunnel is shared by both the log flume and the kitty canoes. And a few years ago, I was shocked to get hit by a waterfall leaving this teepee. That had never happened to me in all my years riding this flume. So what happened? A lot of parks have added water cannons on their log flumes. There's something inherently rewarding soaking unsuspecting guests, and it's profitable for the park too. A few years ago, Canopy covertly added three water sprayers to the ride. They were so well themed that someone who had been riding the flume for 20 to 25 years such as myself struggled to even notice them. The first is the aforementioned waterfall exiting the teepee. The second is the most obvious. There's a barrel just after you exit the tunnel that has a water gun atop it. The third one is particularly evil. After you pass the barrel, you pass under what looks like a light. The structure matches all the other lights in the area, except there's no light bulb on this fixture. Instead, there's a shower head. I love how much effort can be put into theming these water sprayers. It's the little touches like this that make Canopy special to me. After passing these water effects, you travel down a mini drop. This is one of my favorite features on the Hopkins flumes. They are these turbulent downhill slopes where the log picks up some speed and creates a gentle splash. It feels like the log flume equivalent of rapids. There are two of these mini drops in Canopy's flume, and they add a little excitement to the course. Eventually you reach the second lift. I cannot find an exact height for the lift, but from Google Earth, it appears to be roughly 36 feet or 11 meters tall. And the drop is quite good. This is another thing that Hopkins flumes excel at. 
I much prefer their drops to the ones you find in Arrow Flumes. This drop offers no airtime, but it is quite zippy. It gives my stomach a tingly sensation. The resulting splash is larger than that of the first drop, but it doesn't get riders any wetter. Most of the splash is directed outwards. And one other benefit to Hopkins Flumes is that the boats don't take on water. That is a problem that a lot of the Arrow ones suffer from, so they can soak your shoes. You then float back to the station, ending the 1,173 foot or 358 meter long ride. So what would I rate the Palsy Pond Log Flume? I would give this attraction an 8 out of 10. This is one of my favorite traditional log flumes. Most flumes ahead of this on my personal list are themed. Canopy's Flume has a solid layout amongst the trees, features two good drops, and has a great atmosphere. I've been riding the Policy Pond Log Flume for almost 30 years, and it has been consistently great throughout the years. This was my favorite ride at Canopy growing up, and once again, it is my favorite ride at the park. For a long time, I preferred the Yankee Cannonball, but the rides retracking a few years ago sapped the ride of some of its airtime. And I also used to prefer Equinox, but that ride's maintenance issues necessitated its removal. It's interesting how this ride has come full circle as my favorite again. So those are my thoughts on the Policy Pond Log Flume at Canopy Lake Park. What are your thoughts about the ride? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and music park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.